talk about polynomial regression so when do we use it so there may be some times when your data doesn't fit appropriately for a given straight line so we usually use the polynomial regression there and one thing that you need to be aware of is don't use uh, you know more degree that is actually not required and in this session we are going to use a polyfit function which makes our work more simpler and now let's try to build a comps complex relationship which is actually not linear so let's start So here I'm taking thousand observations. So if you don't know what these functions are, I have uh, given a clear description in the previous video. So do see them. Now let's visualize it. So now we can see the data points in this graph. So let us run again. So they uh, as we have selected the random data points, you can see a new graph here. So to maintain a constant uh, graph overall over the period, uh, I'm using the seed function here. So, so I'm taking a 4 here so that you know every time when you call the numpy's other random function the results will be same so it's done okay. mm. So here I'm using the 90 degree polynomial. So you can use any degree of polynomial that you want. And here I'm using the link space. Now let's show the graph. So you can see that it is, uh, you know, the line is almost touching all the data points in the graph and uh, it is actually I think it's 94% accurate so let me say you about this function uh, link space so link space take the three parameters that is you know the first number so the first number is 0 so you can see here it starts from it start from 0 and it ends, ends at 6 so 0 to 6 and here how many numbers are there in your array 
so the default is 50 and you can uh, you know add more numbers so i suggest you to add more numbers so that uh, your result will be more accurate so hope you guys have understood uh, what is polynomial regression and how can we use it so if you like do comment and do share the video and thank you